Welcome back everybody, and in today's video we are going to be showcasing everything they added in update 55, along with the new bone arrows, the new clothes variants, the new cannibals that have skin faces, the new hotkeys, the new chat bar, and the new creative mode cannibal selection. Alright guys, so let's get right into it. So if we go straight to our crafting mat, we can now throw our backpack right in the middle, and we can put anything we want in there. We have four hotkey slots. So right now I have mine set up to use the spear, the modern axe, the katana, and the bow. But let's say I want to throw the flintlock pistol on instead of the bow. So I just go and put it in the middle, equipped it, and put it as number two. Like that. Boom. So now I can push two on the keyboard, and there's my pistol. It's super freaking awesome, because now I don't have to live with just always pulling out the plain axe. Yeah. I can pull out the axe that I want, and this guy is freaking me out. Where is he? So as you can see, Sivo is already wearing the brand new hoodie. We uh, took a few tries to kill him beforehand. If I can get the other five variants, we'll go and throw them up on the screen right now. But it looks pretty good. It doesn't really have the clipping issue that the suit had when it first came out. I mean, it is cutting through the shoulders just a little bit. Oh, oh, and on the back, uh, it's pretty, pretty spotty. <laughs> but it, overall, it looks really good. I... Very much enjoy this hoodie. It doesn't look as fake as the leather jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got new but, uh, shoes, too. They're blue. I think I, th I thought they used to be uh, gray. Man, look, uh, look towards me. Yep, those are new shoes. Yeah, so they added new shoes and new hoodies and vests. All right, so let's go ahead and show them how to make those bone arrows. And we're going to test them out as well. Pretty much same way you make regular arrows. You throw one stick in the middle, five feathers... But now, you can add five bones, and you get bone arrows, and these look like proper arrows. So, let's go ahead and bust one out. I actually undid my hotkey for that, but look at that. Is that not a beautiful arrow? Also, they listened to your request. You can now turn enemies on and off in creative mode. And I'll go ahead and show you that right now. And it's just incredible. So now you can throw pretty much whatever you want at that super base that you made right when creative mode launched. I know many of you have asked me how you can add cannibals to your creative mode. Well, now you can. You just simply toggle it on and just watch your creations come to life. See if a freaking cannibal wave can knock you out. This is fantastic and it's going to make for some uh, great videos from us in the future. Mm, definitely. That is like some fucking leather face shit right there, dude. Oh, oh so standard. look at that. That is scary as fuck. This is one of the new late game cannibals that wears a skin passenger's face. Now, that is legitimately terrifying. Alright, along with the new cannibals wearing the skin passenger mask, they've also increased the spawn rate of cannibals at camps. Now, me and Silver are attempting to check it out right now, and as you can see, there are uh, quite a bit spawning right behind me. But, uh, yeah, overall, I don't know if it's too much more. I mean, it's really only like three or four every now and then, but we are only on normal mode. So, hard mode may vary. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so that's gonna do it for today's video. That's pretty much everything that Update 55 brings, other than performance increases and bug fixes. But uh, like the video if you liked it, maybe get subscribed. Leave a comment down at the bottom if you think these freaking cannibals are terrifying. And we'll catch you next time. Peace out.